Hello and welcome back to Gold Rush RP. So if you guys have seen the last video, we started doing some of these, or I guess we figured out how to do these little alcohol imports over here. And what I thought we might want to try and do today is possibly grab like a bunch of these, like spend a bunch of money, like maybe even like four or $500 getting a bunch of these stuff imported. And then maybe go to some of the towns that are very far away from it, such as Armadillo, Tumbleweed, maybe Blackwater as well, and basically offer them a service where we deliver them a certain amount every week of this stuff and then you know obviously they pay us for it and then they get consistent deliveries they're able to sell consistent alcohol at their different saloons and you know i think everyone will hopefully make a little bit of money what i think we're going to try and do is sell each batch of five which contain i think 12 bottles each so five cartons are going to be 200 dollars. so we're going to be making around 80 dollars per delivery and again if we can get a lot of people consistent with these we can be delivering hopefully a ton of these every single week and in the future maybe even try and hire people to start and do the deliveries for us so we're even making some passive income at that point this might be our first little venture into some business and i think it might work out now if i remember correctly i believe the saloon in blackwater is unfortunately under oh it got sold okay so the blackwater saloon did get sold so we could talk to the owners there then we can talk to the owners of armadillo and tumbleweed but we want to have some product to show it also looks like some stuff has changed over here as well uh although we can't even check out the markers but looks like a saloon was added over to mexico as well so that's interesting to see but we're gonna have to show them what product we can actually bring them so what we're gonna do is head down to saint denis and import a bunch of alcohol we're gonna see how much we can carry as well and then we're gonna start going town to town and talking to saloon owners seeing if they need someone to start supplying them with alcohol so again let's head back over to saint denis where we were yesterday and uh, i guess go check it out and you know start importing a bunch and then obviously head over to a bunch of these different saloon owners and try and get them on board with our new little business idea we'll see if this works out if it does it might be a good profitable long-term little oh little snake a good long-term little business for us and uh, if not you know it is what it is we tried it out but either way i'll see you once we're over in saint denis getting our first imports and then hopefully trying to sell to a bunch of different companies i will see you guys in just a little bit once again we are over in saint denis We are now heading over into Saint Denis. Let's go uh, head over to the bank, grab out a decent amount of money. Again, I think we're just gonna grab out 120 to start and see how heavy these crates are. And then we'll go from there. I'll see you guys once we're at the bank, both grabbing out some money and checking out on how our stocks are doing. Alrighty, so we are over at the bank, giving Ashy a little brush for the long journey. And let's head in. And let's check out our stocks again. I think we had we have bought the Black Russian Tobacco at eleven dollars and the Valentine Co-op at eleven dollars as well. Let's check what they're up to. Hopefully not at loss. Oh, well that's a big loss. That is a huge loss. Okay, we spent about two hundred and fifty dollars yesterday when Valentine Co-op was, I believe, at eleven. And now it's at four. So yeah, that's not good but the black russian tobacco is up at 16 so we're up five dollars and last time after it went up it went back down so i'm trying to figure out if we should sell ours now and hopefully wait for it to go back down again hmm should we sell our black russian tobacco bond that's the question because it's up to 16 dollars all right what i think we're gonna do is sell 54 of these i think i've decided we're gonna sell all our black russian tobacco at 16 dollars so that's five dollars profit her so boom let's sell all of it so 864 dollars and now whenever the next buy period comes up hopefully black russian tobacco goes back down this time so we're able to buy more let's hope that happens and hope it doesn't even go up more 
but i think that's gonna be our strat making us a little bit of profit on that let me do the math real quick and see how much profit we just made so on that we made around 270 dollars which is not bad and a little bit of profit a little bit of passive income and uh, again next time hopefully when the buy period comes up hopefully the black russian tobacco is back down so we can buy a bit more back and you know obviously start making some profit again but let's quickly again as i was saying before i forgot grab out an extra hundred dollars so we have 120 on us let's go head over to the alcohol import and uh, check how much these things weigh because i actually didn't check that out last time i'll see you guys once we're over there Alrighty, and we are over at the importer let's go over here and boom pick up saloon shipment 120 dollars let's do this real quick also i still really want to hopefully get our criminal skill up but unfortunately with the mine being moved it's been a bit hard to actually find the rubies and the rubies seem to be our main source of actually getting that criminal skill up and that seems to be the easiest way i did hear that robbing banks gives you a ton of xp but again we it's kind of hard to get into one of those jobs without you know being part of a group beforehand which again we're still working on all right so let's grab this crate and then let's see how much it weighs so 1293 and let's drop one okay so it's only one pound per so that's not bad at all so we can actually carry quite a couple of these and i'm guessing we can carry quite a lot on our horse as well you know what? we're gonna grab out 500 dollars. we're gonna make a big investment today and hopefully it will pay off i'm really hoping that we could get some sort of deal set up with these saloons so we can consistently bring them imports like maybe once a week or something like that and get some income off of that as well you know just have like our daily or um, our weekly like every monday or every tuesday we go and we deliver all this alcohol to all the different saloons at a set rate I think it'd make us a lot of money, but either way, let's go grab a bunch more money, head back down there, and uh, see how much we can get. Back over here, let's quickly again start doing these shipments, pick them up. So, oh wait, we have to wait in between. I forgot there's a huge wait period in between each shipment. I completely forgot about that. So that's going to be about 22 minutes. So we're going to have to wait. It seems around, I think I'm guessing around 25 minutes per delivery per import. So what we could do is that we could be the people who over time, we just stock up every 25 minutes. We go and do this delivery for a while and then we have a bunch of it. So then we can go to saloons and sell it in bulk. That might be a good way. And it also makes it so if we get people hired, we can actually import even more. And then of course, hopefully make even more profit. But I guess while we're waiting for this, we can go around town and maybe head over to Rhodes as well and see if any of the saloons over there want to start a little bit of a contract with us to have us deliver them a certain amount of alcohol every month or every week so uh let's go find our first i guess real client start talking to them and uh, see if we can get something going now i've already talked to someone in valentine in the last episode and it seems that he might be interested i think he might have sent us a telegram let's check that real quick he also may have not okay it doesn't look like he's sent us any telegrams unfortunately but i believe the guy in valentine might be open to the idea of us importing alcohol for him consistently i will see you guys once we are of course hopefully getting our first client of a new business I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I have no oh ammo. Oh my. I have no ammo. It's a joke. I have no <laughs> what, ammo. What, 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 oh, what, what, what you want? Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> It wasn't called for. Come on. She is, oh she is ruthless. Oh, yeah. Does anyone I'm work sorry, here? Yes, mister. I work here. What can I do for you? you um, so I think I talked to fine. someone yesterday. I, I forget his name or a couple days ago about mm -hmm. it possibly starting to import alcohol for y'all on a uh, consistent basis. Um, well, quite honestly, I'm just fucking with you because I don't even work here. But oh, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> That's who we're for. Jay, that was um, his name. That was yeah, his name. Yeah. Thank you. Jay. Oh, the the fellow with the with the ugly uh, beard. <laughs> oh, I'm not saying that. that. I'm trying to do business with him, all right? <laughs> <laughs> do you know no. if he's around or no? No, quite not honestly. What is, what is yeah. a what is the payoff of the job? Um, so I'm trying to get two hundred dollars for five uh, crates of it. Oh, okay. Eighty dollars mm. profit then? Not exactly. Bad. 
Yeah. But uh, I appreciate I'm you. trying you to start. You're gonna do the traveling. So yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm trying to start a little bit of a import business. So like, you know, once a week we'll deliver them like 25 crates at a discount, stuff like that. So that's what I've been trying to work on. Hey, I, li I like that. You, shit, they don't do like you, traveling, do they? Oh yeah. A better offer for you. Yeah. Do you? Are you good with the with the gun? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you like? Um, are you are you a hunter yourself? Yeah, a little bit. Do you hunt um, animals on two feet still? Uh, hypothetically. <laughs> um, I give. Oh, hold on, miss. Hi. I don't know. I don't know if you want to hear that. Wait, you what? might you might stay out for a little while. Oh, uh, oh boy. I'll see you around. I'll see you around. Uh, Bye, um, I offer for every bell bucket that you bring from Roofless or um, Salamence on Ensberg, I offer you $300. Hey, unfortunately, uh, Roofless and I have a uh, mutual enemy, so. Fuck Roofless. <laughs> what did, what did uh, Roofless give you? Uh, nothing. Information. If I can give you better information every time. Well, I mean, I'm looking for a specific person trying to figure out what gang they're in. Oh, okay, who? You know, a one of uh, Tapai Smith. And uh, what he will offer you, this guy, this fellow? Oh, well, I'm hunting him down, to be honest. Oh, you're hunting him down, okay. Yes, sir. Okay, so you're interested in information on Tapai Smith. I can hold yes, on that. Sir. You normally roll him around with Stan and his luck, right? Yeah, yeah. But between me and Tapias, it's a personal thing. Oh, okay. So it's just between you two then? All right. Yeah. What did they do to you? Uh, well, did he touch you? <laughs> My first uh, probably two, three days in the county, I went mining for about three hours. And as I was leaving, I got robbed by him. Uh, but obviously no way to know who he was. But about yeah, probably a week ago, I was mining some uh, special gems, and uh, him and his crew ended up shooting down three helpless miners and then uh, robbing me. So what and I learned called? his name. What I don't know. I don't know the group. You only know the pious Smith. Yes, sir. Shit, I can uh, I can speak to my friends and I'll uh, spread the word. Yeah, I would I appreciate to ask it. Bill. Bill. I know, uh, Wait, I know I might you do know business Bill. with Thomas, right? So what Bill do you know? Uh, I'm bad with last names. Hold on, is your name uh, Sabil? It is Sabil. Oh, uh, he was stuck. Well, do you know? Well, you know Thomas as well, don't you? Yep, yep, yep. Good, because uh, Bill mentioned you on, on on a meeting with Thomas. Oh, really? Yeah, Hopefully yeah he's he talking good. No, I think uh, he wanted to make you a, a prospect for us. I believe. I don't know. Oh. I mean, to be honest, what Bill was talking about, that's something I'd want to be a part of, to be fair. Yeah. Y'all so seem Bill like was... I have some honor. Yeah. Bill was talking about the loss and the demons. This is where uh, I'm at the CEO of the loss, and Bill is the gang leader of the demons, and we are both partners at the same crew. Okay, okay. So, yeah, you was there. Okay. Well, um, I don't know what you talked to Bill, but I think you should go back to Bill then. Do you know where he is? He will come, uh, he will join the, the country in about maybe two hours at the ranch. Do you know where the ranch is? Uh, which ranch? I've been to quite a couple. Okay, our ranch is uh, northeast from the oil field. So you go, uh, go in about one or two hours, go to him and uh, let's talk about that. And let's see what uh, what you made of. But I'm afraid if you, uh, if you want to be in association with us, you will have to shoot Roofless. I sooner business later. is business. Yeah. And, and it's I think not they... like I'm attached to them, it's just, you know, they help me with some information, is all. Okay, good. And we can give you better information, don't worry about it. We can give you money, information, and whatever you need. Well, it looks like we might be joining a gang very soon. So... Alright, my friend. Alright, I'll see you around. See you around. And, um, how much, how much money was, uh, how much money were you going to get from this fella here? Uh, well, I was still working on a deal. About 200, but that's what I'm trying to get. But still working on it. All right, we'll feel it. I'm probably going to hit it. Oh. So your run wasn't oh, for nothing. Thank you very and much. And make sure, make sure you go to Bill Russell. I will. I'll be there. I'll be there. You said an hour or two? Yeah, an hour or two. I won't miss it. Don't worry. All right. All right. Because we are recruiting care. right now. Yeah, yeah. What's your name again, Phil? Olaf Schultz. Olaf Schultz. Okay, okay. All right. Well, I'll see you okay. around then. All righty. So at least we got paid 200 bucks. Let's actually put that into the bank right away. But 
this seems like uh okay so bill to give you guys a little bit of information was someone that i was talking to a while ago at the mines and we actually talked there for quite a while but now it seems like uh, after that nice conversation apparently he also talked to thomas about us which is again the other guy that we were kind of doing some outlaw stuff with for quite a while and it looks like they're looking to possibly recruit us into one of their gangs apparently both of them thomas's and bill's kind of work together so this might be one of the perfect arrangements for us and we might have got a little bit more than we were looking for when coming over the valentine so we're gonna probably wait an hour or two and then of course go meet up with bill over at his ranch which apparently over here so we're going to be checking that out very soon but in the meantime i'm going to probably just keep heading around to towns and seeing if we can get ourselves a deal or two and possibly start up some trade i think it could be a really good business but it looks like today we actually might be getting recruited for a gang which might be a little bit more interesting so either way i'll see you when one we're either talking to bill and possibly looking at how to get recruited into his gang or number two of course talking to more of these saloon owners and trying to of course set up some relationships with them either way i will see you guys in a little bit and it seems so we're starting to have a little bit of an interesting day today should be the place is this him now howdy howdy i'm looking for a bill bill uh let me check all right all right i was told to meet him here okay all right we found the right person I'm gonna see if bill's around it's definitely a nice little ranch here though definitely a nice little ranch nice little spot for sure hopefully we're able to contact him and talk to him soon should be some interesting stuff today, I think. Yeah. Oh, that's a well off. Oh, yeah. well, that's... Oh my, that is quite the horse. Well, Mr. Seville. Deep. I normally let Bill do the talking uh, for the new recruits, because I'm, I'm more like a businessman and more on the legal side of the business. I see, I see. But I would say you go with Ace and with Frank and probably do we need two more keys for the moral bank job so if you boys can go and do a store um will be much appreciated i mean hey, three of us <laughs> to be honest i've never hit one so it's it'll be interesting i mean That'd if you fun. guys get cock i will pay the fine don't worry about it and everything you lose i will replace it um that sounds like a good deal all right, well, I guess we'll see how this goes. I'll see you guys once we're at the store doing our first robbery. And uh, to be honest, most likely getting caught. But let's hope it doesn't go that way. Either way, I'll see you guys again once we are doing our first store robbery. Let's hope it goes well. Hold All right, I think we're going to be having a quick meeting before the actual robbery to figure out how it's going to go. We're obviously in slightly different clothes. And uh, let's just say our hair is tucked into the hat for now. But I think we're going to be uh, figuring out what we're doing here. So let's figure it out. You guys all know where the gang house is? Yep. I do not. Was that the one we just came from or? No. I open up your map if you don't know. So that's where our meeting point's gonna be after we hit the store. Uh, if we're gonna do Annisburg gun store, I think we should do three people inside the store and two outside shooters up on the catwalk. Oh. And uh, the negotiations probably just gonna end up in a gunfight honestly because oh, the boy. cops don't know how to negotiate um if you can negotiate out of it get out of it but they, if you feel like they're not following your negotiations just fucking shoot them and now two outside of shooters will just clean up all right do, do i want to switch the lockpick then because i should probably be on the outside if i have a rifle right um i have a lockpick you have a lockpick on you i have one yeah, yeah. olaf gave him one you can you can lockpick and i'll sit i can stay outside i'll let you well i was just thinking store. since i had the rifle i'll sit with him 
I'll take you in there with me and I'll tell you how to do it. Alright, all you're right. You're gonna go in you're gonna go in the store, Eden? Oh, yeah, boy. I'll go in with him. Yeah, I'll okay. join you outside, uh Bill. Frank will be inside as well to learn. I think you need a shotgun just in Dad, case. Put a shotgun on. Alright. You got an extra one on you? Yeah, I've got the semi and then I've got the pump. Okay. Hey, if you want them bar when they'll work if you don't mind. There you'll like that one, it's got an extended barrel on it. Okay. Let's uh, go to Annisburg. We'll stop outside of Annisburg, uh, mask up, and then we'll go into town. Okay, okay. Oh boy, this will be interesting. I'm a little nervous. I'm actually very, very, very nervous as we've never done a robbery yet on the server. But uh, I guess we'll see you guys once we're over there. Hopefully it all goes well. Again, definitely a little nervous. Got some nerves, but I guess we'll see how this goes. There's a whole bunch of them, isn't there? Say two. Two? I'll say two, three, four. Say four, five. No, they're ruined. Yeah. There's five. Nah, let's go. Let's Six. Go. Yeah. talking about same plan same plan same meeting did his hit pop well i don't know what happened to our hostage so let's go, Damn. Let's go. we gotta get him out somebody else oh shit it's molly so we're gonna have to disguise our voice the best we can oh i feel bad about taking molly but i don't think we have much choice let's go Oh. Alright, we're gonna have to call it, guys. He just head popped. The, well, the leader of it just head popped, so. That sucks. We can just continue if you want. Uh. Alright, let's go. Worst case oh. scenario, we die. I guess we're yep. going for it. Oh boy, the leader's head popped. Now it's just the four of us. Oh boy, I have a bad feeling about this. No I'm hoping this goes well. I'm gonna put you in the store real quick. Uh, oh boy. I'm gonna be near the, the back. Okay, I'm gonna be near the water, okay? I'll be carving this side. We got someone outside. So Guys, they, got, we, we got, got people got outside. Come on, serious off. Is anybody in there? That was fast. Should I start hitting it? If you can come in, we're gonna grab him. Should I start hitting it? They already said sheriff's office. Yeah. They already say sheriff's uh, office. Should I hit it? Should I start? Should I start? Yeah. Okay, okay. She's not responding. Either. I mean, Hey. Should I start yeah, hitting it anyways? Yeah, just, just Okay, okay. All right, here we go. Yeah, 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 we can hear you. Oh, What's her up? head popped. Now we're down to three. Can you hear us? We've lost two people. Oh, not the store menu. We've already lost two people. Uh, I'm more sheriff's office. Oh, God. So not going too well. Just Come on, let us hit people. it. Why would it not let us hit it? Why can't I hit it? Uh, I can't hit it. I'm trying. Did it work? Nope, you want to try? Where's the hostage? 
Yeah, 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 it's right at the door. I can't. I can't see. Oh, Hi, it's me. Hold Let's see if uh, they well, can do it, because it's bugged for us. I think it's bugged. I think you, we just got screwed over because it's bugged and we can't hit the store right now, so... We already well, lost two people from them head popping. Now account. we can't so hit like, the store. This is pretty much the worst case scenario. Well, I'm just trying to figure uh, out. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, we got that's all. So are you dead set on eight seconds? Just, is that what you said? Bar, on my, on my accent, all right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Right. Okay, so it's simple. I'm just going to put her here, like in the yep. middle. You'll be able to see her as soon as we get on our horses. Okay. I think we're aborting. This is the worst robbery ever. We'll be done. We'll be done soon. All right. Um Alright. Alright, so we're skiing on a horse and dipping? Yep, definitely. Okay. What's the plan? This was a waste, this was a big waste. <sighs> yep. Yeah, everything that could go wrong went wrong. Yeah, alright, yeah, that sounds that? good. Go, go, go. Go. It dropped off. Uh, This is not. Oh my, we're getting shot already. Oh my gosh. Let's get out of here. Oh shit. Oh shit. Alright, let's switch to the repeater. Go, 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 go. Come on, horsey. Faster, Ashy. Faster. Faster, Ashy. Come on. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. I think we're all right so far. Come on, Ashy, faster, faster, faster. Come on. Let's keep going and let's get the hell out of here. Hopefully our guys are okay. I don't think we have any sheriffs on our tail. Should be all right. Let's give Ashley a quick apple to help us out a little bit. No sheriffs in sight. Let's keep going. Let's get out of here completely. That went horribly wrong. First of all, our first hostage glitched the heck out of there. And then on the second try, we had one person head pop. And then when we were inside the robbery, we had a person head pop. So it's not looking. Oh, shit. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Okay, we're okay. I think we're okay. Whew. All right, I think we're safe and I think we're out. Now what we're gonna do is take a little pit stop over here. And I mean, they'll probably know our horse, but the least we can do is look a little different. All right. Whew. Hopefully now it won't be as, uh, as recognizable as possible. I think we're gonna head up to our rendezvous point and uh, hopefully the rest of them make it there. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Again, pretty much the worst luck we could have had with our first robbery. Hopefully the second one goes a little better. But either way, I'll meet you guys once we're back at the rendezvous point. And let's hope the rest of them show up there. Alrighty, so we met up at the rendezvous point and we waited there for about 15, I'd say 15, 20 minutes and no one showed up. So I'm guessing we were the only survivor from that. Now again, everything that went wrong could have went wrong, unfortunately, but at least we made it out alive and well. And I think tomorrow again, we're going to be talking to them or whatever the next episode is, we're going to be talking to them and possibly becoming a recruit in their gang. Although, I mean, there wasn't too many people to watch us during that performance, but hopefully it went well in their eyes. Either way, though, I think that's going to be about it for today's episode. We did our first store robbery, even if it uh, did not exactly go perfectly well. Uh, so hopefully you guys did enjoy that and us getting a little bit more once again into the criminal life. But either way, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. And if you did, as always, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to, subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.